Yes, I made a reservation earlier. Uh, Tyler, party for one. <laughs> More like Tyler, party of fun, right? Um, I'm sorry. We don't serve lonely people. Oh. Mario Party was released on the Nintendo 64 on December 14th, 1998. It's a four-player party game that puts you and your friends up against each other to fight for stars. To get said stars, you'll have to play mini games to collect coins, traverse maps, use items, and screw up your friends as much as possible. As you go through the party, things can either go your way, or they can go the complete opposite. It's really up to the Mario Party overlords or your friends. They could really just hate you. Either way, I love Mario Party. It's either a wonderful time or an absolutely terrible time, but that's the wonder of Mario Party. Throughout the years, Mario Party has changed, some for the better, and some for the worse, and that's up to you. But as the party count got higher, a Mario Party got lost in that list somewhere. But we'll forget about that for now, because let me refresh you on the fundamentals of Mario Party. To have the best Mario Party experience, you're gonna need three to four friends. It's a multiplayer experience. Playing alone just isn't the way to play. It's just not how it was designed. Until now. I guess 2005. Mario Party Advance, released on January 13, 2005 for, you guessed it, the Game Boy Advance. Now, at first, this was an odd release date to me because the Nintendo DS had come out a couple months beforehand. I figured it would be time to move on to the DS at that point, but then I remembered. Certain DS models could play Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games, so it all kind of made sense. Anywho, let's hop right into Mario Party Advance. The game doesn't hesitate and makes you immediately answer a bunch of personal questions like, what's your name? Excuse me? That's my name, not yours. So why don't you mind your own business? Then it asked me for a comment on my Mario Party passport. Well, why not get ahead of the curve? They'll never see this answer coming. What would I say my biggest dream is? Hmm. Well, that's a tough... 2020 vision! What's my silliest secret? First, the IRS wants to know how much money I made this year, and now Mario Party wants to know my silliest secret. Might as well tell you everything. How about that? I'll tell you it all! I drink more than five gallons of milk a week. I unironically really enjoy Mario Party 10. <laughs> this Mugman figure talks to me in my mind. I can hear his voice. Every step I go, I can hear him telling me what I'm doing right and what I'm doing wrong. He doesn't stop. He's always there, always watching and always listening. It's driving me slowly insane. I can't, I cannot get away from him. And I'm trying my best. The harder I try, the more he shows up. He's everywhere. He's everywhere and I can't stop him in every second. Every second I turn the corner, there he is. He is there watching and waiting just for me to make a mistake. And then he swoops in. Allergic to peanuts. That's quite goofy if you ask me. And now that we're finally done with all that stuff, Toad finally welcomes us to Party World. Wait, what's happening? <gasps> Get off of him right now! Get off! Move! No, no, stop! Leave him, he's, he's already flat! You've already, leave him be! And now we're off to party! Mario Party typically consists of an interconnected board that lets players traverse many locations and interact with objects that will either give them coins or take them away! It all really depends on luck. Then, with those coins, they must find and buy a star, and whoever has the most stars and coins by the end of the game wins! It's a series staple that's worked since the 90s! Some games do stray from that formula, and Mario Party Advance is one of those games. How does it stray from the formula, you ask? Well, let me sum it up. While at its core, this game still has Mario Party essence, it feels like it was dumbed down and made to waste time in a long car ride. Which, isn't that what handheld consoles are for? Mario Party Advance lets you pick from an underwhelming four characters. Mario, Luigi, Peach, and Yoshi. And instead of getting coins to buy stars, you have to go retrieve all the gadgets that Bowser scattered across Room City. Gathering those gadgets will revive Party Island to its former glory. To get gadgets, you drive around in a car doing chores all over the city. The people you do chores for will then give you a gadget and send you on your way, if you win their game. The games can range from fun, to straight up gambling, to terrible. Now to go place to place, you have to roll a dice. And you're probably thinking, why? Why roll a dice if it's just me traversing the board? Well, you roll the dice because you only have a limited number of rolls. This is where the challenge begins. As you go, you'll have to win mini games to get more rolls. If you run out of rolls, well, game over. While it is a neat concept, it kind of limits the game because now it truly is all down to luck. At some points, like if you roll a one, you might as well just start over. And to go with that, Shroom City is rather big. Thankfully, each player starts in a different position, 
so I guess it justifies picking other characters. Other than that, yeah, that's really the whole game mode. The best part definitely is the mini games and creative characters. Shroom City is hard to get into, but once you're into it, it's a fun little time waster. But Shroom City isn't the only thing we got here. There are some actual multiplayer modes, but I don't have more than one copy of this game, so I can't access those. But this game also comes with mini games, as any good Mario Party should. Now in the mini game department, Mario Party Advance has some good ones. Then there's the rest. Some of the controls don't make any sense, but overall, it's not a terrible selection. I didn't play them all, but you know. From what I played, there's some okay ones and some good ones. And that's all of Mario Party Advance. To be fair, it was Mario Party on the Game Boy, but honestly, I feel like I could have gone without playing this one. Now, I get it, it was the Game Boy Advance, and a fully multiplayer Mario Party would have been next to impossible, but my thing about this game is it really didn't need to exist, especially because it came out after the DS's release. Shroom City could have 100% been a side mode on a normal Mario Party game. I don't think it should have been the main focus for a game. While it was fun, and it does have its moments, Mario Party Advance probably isn't worth your time, and in my opinion is the worst Mario Party out there. I mean, the essence of Mario Party is multiplayer wacky fun with friends! This game just constantly reminds me the whole time through that I sure am playing Mario Party alone, and I sure would love to play another game. It really didn't help that this was during the GameCube era of Mario Party, which is definitely some of the best games in the series. I think Mario Party Advance should have been a side mode in one of those games, or Mario Party DS, the next handheld Mario Party that released three years later. That Mario Party was amazing. Now, before I go, this would not be a Mario Party Advance review if I did not mention Mario Party Advance's best minigame. 